Today we're in San Diego's Presidio Park, the oldest part of San Diego and the beginning of El Camino Real. We're here today to look for a monument to one of San Diego's legends, the White Deer of Mission Hills. The Presidio behind us is a well-known landmark in San Diego and is easily visible from Interstate 8 and Interstate 5. The part of the park we're in today though is called Inspiration Point and is on the opposite side of a canyon from the Presidio. And it can be accessed by taking a narrow road up the hill or if you park at the Presidio you have to hike across the canyon behind us. But I wouldn't recommend that because you never know what you're going to find in that canyon. So right now we're in the parking lot for Inspiration Point and the monument we're looking for is apparently somewhere up the hill behind us so we're going to head up there see if we can find it and on the way up we'll talk about the legend of the white deer. The white deer of Mission Hills was a deer who lived here in Presidio Park from the 1960s until 1975 and there are a few different origin stories of how this deer got to be here in Presidio Park. But the most popular one is that the San Diego Zoo had too many deer, sold a couple off to a local homeowner. That homeowner somehow let the deer escape. One of the deer were never seen again, but a female, a white deer, took up residence here in Presidio Park and happily lived here for the next decade. Unfortunately, as the city of San Diego continued to grow, the deer had less and less area to run around in and people started seeing it near Interstate 8. And so there was worry that the deer was gonna run out onto the interstate and possibly be killed. So in December 1975, park rangers decided that they were going to tranquilize the deer and remove her from Presidio Park. Unfortunately, the tranquilizer was too strong for the small deer and it killed the deer. There was a lot of outrage in the city over the death of the deer. And this monument that's here at the top of the hill was built in the deer's honor. And of course, because every one of these stories has to have some sort of supernatural connection for some reason, there have been reported sightings of a ghost deer over the years here at Presidio Park. So the ghost of the deer apparently can be seen sometimes. So take that for what you will. All right, so we've made it to the White Deer Monument. Let's take a look at it. So not only is this a monument to the white deer, it is also the white deer's final resting place. As you can see, the monument is a cement slab that has a watering hole in the middle and animal tracks leading to the watering hole. I guess if uh, any deer decide to come back, we got a watering hole for them here. So if you know any deer, send them on down. And there's also three rocks on the monument and a plaque. And the plaque says, the white deer of Mission Hills, bliss in solitude beneath this tree, formless, silent, spirit free, a friend. And here you can see the hill that we walked up in the parking lot. So the, the white deer monument is not very far from the parking lot at all. And there's a little bench to sit on up here and reflect and look down the hill. Unfortunately, there's not a great view because of the uh, trees. Uh, so you can't really see very far, but still nice shady spot to sit and relax. The White Deer Monument is definitely a hidden monument here in San Diego. I mean, you wouldn't know this is here unless you already knew that this was here. I mean, it's nestled up against the backyards of people's houses and on the top of a uh, hill with no signs pointing to it whatsoever. But here it is, the White Deer Monument. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, 
and we'll see you next week.